I'm Alexander, and this is Jeopardy. The Jeopardy set. How do you do, Mr. Trebek? I am the Senior Contestant Coordinator for the TV show Jeopardy. I've had the pleasure of doing this show for 30 years. And primarily what I do is I travel all around the country auditioning people whose desire it is and dreams is to be on Jeopardy. Secret Backstage Passes. The Director's Room. This is where all the magic happens. There are three factors that I'm looking for. Number one is they have to pass a very difficult test online. While they're taking the test online, thousands upon thousands of other people all throughout the United States and Canada are also taking the test. We give the test twice a year. They take a look to see what cities we are going to be holding the auditions at. And if they pass the test, they go to one of those cities and I will personally meet with them, give them another test physically, which means it's another 50 category test, all different types of categories. So they have to pass that test as well. Then they play Jeopardy where we actually have the signaling buzzers from the show and we watch how they're ringing in, are they answering in the form of the question, their knowledge on the categories, and personality also plays a factor. Ideally we're looking for well-rounded people to appear on the show. There are many, but two in particular come to mind. One is Ken Jennings, who actually won 74 shows in a row, took us for a ballpark around two and a half million dollars. There's also another one by the name of Eddie Tamanis. Eddie was totally blind and he tried out for the show. And with Jeopardy, the idea is waiting for Alex to finish reading the clue before you respond to the form of question by ringing in. So Alex was reading the clue, Eddie was able to sync up the buzzer and he actually won five shows in a row and was in our Tournament of Champions. Because we put Eddie on the show, I actually got a beautiful award. And uh, it's one of the most beautiful awards and most significant ones that I've ever gotten in my life. Look at all of these Emmys. Well, primarily what makes my job unique is that our job as contestant coordinators is to primarily have people that try out for the show make their dreams a reality. People have been watching the show for many, many years, and at home they think they are extremely good. But guess what? Now they're on national television in front of millions of viewers, and it comes down to primarily buzzer and knowledge of the category. So in terms of uniqueness, is it's a type of job where you're making somebody else's job a reality, not your own. Well, there are two things that I can think of offhand. One of them is doing USO tours, where Alex Trebek and myself and one or two other people from our staff will travel overseas to get people from the military to appear on the show. So wherever the USO asks us to go, we will go overseas and interview people from our armed forces. The second part that I really, really enjoy is we actually have a rehearsal game on Jeopardy, where the contestants come in, and before they're actually on the show, we do a rehearsal game where we actually stand in for Alex and this way, I watch them ringing with the buzzers to see how nervous they are. We try to get them more relaxed before they debut in front of a national audience. So over the years I've been working at Jeopardy, all these books, this is old school, because we used to record the contestants that were on the show, and how much they won, their addresses, and each one of these books has all that information. For example, here's one back in 19, let's see, season 21. And in the book, it has the tape dates, it has the actual contestants, how much they won, and their weekly totals, 
contestant information for myself, tournament information. Now, in this day and age, obviously we use our computers, but in the old days, we had to log everything in in these books. When we first started at Jeopardy, actually it's been 33 years since the debut of Jeopardy hosted by Alex, we actually had a show where Art Fleming was our original host for 10 years. So 33 years with Alex, and in the very beginning what we used to do is people that were interested in being on Jeopardy used to submit postcards to the Jeopardy offices, and then what we would do is we would have bins from various regions, north, south, east, and west, and then we would divide it up among our contestant coordinators and randomly select postcards. And then we would call those people up individually. Now, because of the age of computers, people take the tests online and makes our job much, much easier.